In this video, I want to share with you what I believe to be the best way to be playing defense right now in Madden 22. And this is kind of a defense that um, I've been talking about a little bit for the last month or so. And something that I really wanted to highlight, uh, the reasoning as to why this is so good um, in Madden 22 right now. And how you can actually adapt this into Ultimate Team with some abilities uh, to be able to make this very, very effective. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the YouTube channel. Now, the other thing that I want to let you know is that if you want a full, complete 335 wide breakdown as to why the, the, the entirety of the defense, all the coverage schemes, all the blitzes, all the run defenses, all of that stuff... I'm going to put a link in the description to my Patreon membership. That's where you can get a deep dive on everything that I'm talking about today. Um, in the Patreon membership, it's only $10 a month, and you're going to get access to all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks, which I have 20, uh, over 20 offensive and defensive guides in the Patreon. I've also started doing a lot of updates in the last couple of weeks. Um, to some of the basic skeletons of those ebooks and kind of fleshing them out a little bit more in depth for you with different tweaks and changes as the game has evolved over the past several months. So if you want to get access to the Patreon again, there's a link in the description and you get every ebook, every update to every ebook, which we release updates every single week uh, in the membership. And then you'll also get any additional updates or ebooks while you are a member um, of the Patreon. So if you want to sign up for that, there'll be a link down below. Now, I want to talk about why I think this is the best defense in Madden. Um, and it really stems from what the game allows you to do from an ability perspective. And what the game allows you to do from an ability perspective is it allows you to have 18 AP right now on the defensive side of the ball. Now, this is also, for my money, the best defense in regs. It is a little bit different um, in terms of how you want to run this in regs, but I would say it is still very dominant and still, I think, head and shoulders above um, a lot of the other defenses, not just because it can stop the run. We all know that 3-3-5 wide um, is arguably the best run defense and has been the best run defense for the last three years. So it can stop the run. But the other advantage that you have with this is, again, from a personnel perspective, most offenses center around their slot receiver um, in their playbook. And so you only really need one good corner, but you can certainly have three good corners from an ability perspective. And so what I like to do in Ultimate Team is I actually go ahead and put a one step ahead and deep route KO in the slot. Now, that is not the only place I have a one step, but it is the number one place that if you needed only one, or if you could only put one, you want them in the slot. And here's why. Most, again, most offenses are going to center around their slot receiver, primarily bunch and bunch tight end, as well as compression sets. The other reason why this is so good is that the one step ahead ability, when you combine that with the deep route KO ability, it's going to be able to hang with route techs significantly better. If they have route tech or short in elite, it's going to significantly help your chance at being able to play them in man coverage. Now, I'm not saying that we're only going to be playing man coverage with this. And it's actually way, for, I mean, it couldn't be further from the truth. We're going to use man coverage in combination with my other favorite defense this year, which is match coverage. And I'm going to show you how to run both of them in this video. So there's two prime, three primary audibles that I would recommend you have um, from the 335 wide because we know that we want to be audibling into 335 wide from either 245 odd or 335 normal. I would actually prefer 335 normal because it gives me the ability to cross man my linebackers if I would like to do that. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to put the um, I, you can have Mike Blitz 3 in here if you want to, but the main audible you need is Mike Blitz 0, you need Cover 4 Show 2, and you need um, Cover 1 Robber, okay? Cover 1 Robber. So you've got Cover 1 Robber, Mike Blitz 0, and Cover 4 Show 2, okay? And then what we want to do is we want to come out of nickel 335 normal so that, again, we can cross-man these players. So you just want to put your safeties in here, whoever you want in those positions, and then, like I said, you want to have your best cover corner. So for the, the uh, Pats, that's going to be J.C. Jackson um, in the slot. Really, really important. Now, these outside guys in, in Ultimate Team, 
I have a Cowboys theme team with one step ahead on Dion and one step ahead on Diggs on the outside. And then my nickel corner is uh, Lattimore. Now, there could be a good argument to be made that you should be putting Dion in the slot. If you want to do that, that's fine. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm just lazy. I don't want to have to do the sub, but you could put Dion in the slot in this position. And then we've got McCourty uh, or for the Pats here. And then in, in Mutt, it doesn't really matter. Just any corners or safeties that you want. Okay? So how we're going to play this, and, and we'll just start with Bunch because it's obviously you know it's the most popular offense in the game uh, for a reason. But how we're going to defend this, and, and it's really, a, really a good defense, especially since escape artists just got upped or made it more difficult for people to run escape artists, this defense got really, really, really good for me. Okay, so I'm just going to set some audibles here. Um, let's see, dig return, and then I guess we'll grab a uh, bunch, bun, or uh, flood. That's fine. Okay. And then we're going to come out in verticals. And let me make sure I got some good uh, guys here. So I got Gawain there. That's kind of how you would normally do it anyway. Okay. So, and I've talked about this defense before on the channel, but I want to really emphasize the why behind the what, okay? So, in the Raiders playbook, what you're going to get is they actually don't have a bunch strong, but a lot of people that are running bunch, because Henry runs the Cincinnati playbook, a lot of people are running Cincinnati playbook, and they're audibly to uh, multiple formations, what I like to do from a defensive perspective, and it's going to make it really, really simple, is we're going to run match coverage, but we're going to combine it with some zone. And it's best to do this out of a quarters coverage, which is what the Cover 4 Show 2 is. It's quarters principles. The reason why it is best to do this from a quarters defense is because if you, t if you change the quarter flat defender in a palms or special defense like that, or palms or, or cover six, especially against trips, it can cause some significant challenges for your defense. That's why I like to suggest to run this out of a quarters-based coverage, in my opinion, very much so, is the best way to do this. Okay, so cover four, show two is the defense we're going to start with. Now, if you take a look at this cover four, show two, um, you're going to notice a couple things. So first and foremost, we want to take advantage of the fact that you can blitz three this year and get decent sheds as long as they don't have post-ups. Even if they have post-ups, as long as you send three, you're fine. You just need to blitz your user. Um, so we're going to blitz uh, our user, as you can see. Okay, And then we're going to crash our line out. Now, that's our base pass rush. If we want to send five, we can. And I'll show you. Um, well, well, we'll leave that in the ebook. Just go to the ebook. You can learn it. The blitz is not only the thing, but we show you how to put coverage behind this in a situation where you're going to send five, okay? So let's come now to the concept of how we're going to defend. So what I like to do with this is we're almost every almost every single time we're in, we're in match, this is the adjustments. We're going to purple both of our outside linebackers, okay? Now you might ask, why would you do that? You already have a quarter flat. Well, the reason why I like this over a quarter flat is in match quarters, the way quarter flats work they have a tendency to actually really mess up in this game. And um, the big reason why is because the quarter flat's responsibility is basically first to the flat. Um, I could go into a lot of detail on this, but the bottom line is what you what do you need from a quarter flat in a cover four quarter scheme, which at the very most they can have three receiving threats on a side of the field. Basically what you needed to do is you needed to do what a curl flat will do, okay? You don't really need it to match match anything. You just need it to sit out there and, and cover, at least in my opinion, okay? Um, so that, now in Palms, completely different, okay? In Palms, there's a different type of check, and it's really kind of a bracketing concept or a special check, but I, I think it's more of a bracketing concept where the, the quarter flat defender will actually, against trip sets, the quarter flat defender will take number two vertical if number two goes vertical up and out. Okay, so like if he goes on a streak or if he goes on a corner, the quarter flat is now responsible for him. And that's why I don't recommend running palms if you're going to run it like this because you need the, the, the built-in principle of that quarter flat defender on the three wide receiver side. Okay, however, if we're, in, um, if we're just in quarters, those quarter flats really don't go vertical uh, unless there's nothing underneath. Um, they really don't go vertical. So, but what the problem is, is if you ever have ran a cover four quarters against a mesh concept 
or like bunch double post or some of that stuff or bunch verticals with the running back in route, you'll notice, and I'll just go to, you know what, we'll just show it real quick. So this is cover four show two. Watch the quarter flat defender defend this running back in route. You see that he actually stays with it decently there, but as you can see, it's not good. And if they have backfield master there, like you might as well not even, I mean, you're, you're screwed. You're not going to be able to play good defense against this. So this is why I use this principle. So I go two purples. So now I know that these purples are going to defend a lot. They're going to defend slants. They're going to defend running back out routes, in routes. They may not necessarily stop them for like a zero yard game or intercept them, but they're going to keep them in front of them, which is all we're trying to do with this defense. Okay. It's kind of a bend, but don't break match man concept. So that's what they're really designed to do. Anything under 15 yards, curls, slants, in routes, post, um, even like uh, slot apprentice post to a degree, um, running back wheels. I mean, these curl flats are going to defend those general areas of the field, which is going to then allow your user to be able to have a lot of freedom and be able to go grab double crossers or things like that. Okay, so we're obviously going to blitz our user. We purple both of the linebackers. And then really, really important, we're going to spread the line and we're going to bluff blitz the defensive end that is on the side of the running back. Why would we do that? Well, if you take a look here, that defensive end a lot of times is going to go guard the running back. So now it makes that throw really hard. It's not impossible, but it's hard. Okay, um, it's not impossible, but it's hard if you wanted to run a little bit more match as opposed to man coverage, you might consider putting flat zone knockout on those two linebackers. And then if you have two guys that are in the middle of the safeties, um, like for example, this is what I would do. So if I, if I just wanted, um, let's say for, you know, maybe, maybe I don't necessarily feel like I need one step ahead on um, anyone but the slot. Let's just say hypothetically. Then what I might do is put deep uh, a flat zone KOs here and then put these guys, these safeties, it, with deep out zone KO. Why would you use deep out zone KO? Because they're going to play much, much better in match coverage. Most of the time, these two defenders are going to be in some type of zone or matching concept, which is basically zone in terms of how that ability is going to work. So it would cause these guys to play a lot better. And then you could take this guy and maybe just put a one step or just put a deep uh, man KO. Okay. Um, you could certainly adjust it like that so that you can have a flat zone knockout down here that will help you knock the ball out if they're running these running back wheels. Okay. So that's that reasoning. And then again, we're going to, so now, now with this defender right here, Jackson, you have a couple of options, but really it just comes down to, especially if you're defending bunch, please man this guy up on the slot. With one step and deep route KO, it makes this coverage really, really good. So this is basically what I do. And you can certainly with these quarter zones, you can change them if you want to um, situationally. But I would argue that the best adjustment is just to leave them as they are, let them play. And you'll see here that this verticals crosser, which is really good, my guy doesn't even have one step. And you see that he just absolutely bags it, okay? So that's why I run it like this. Now, um, the beauty of this defense is that it can adapt formation to formation, and the quarters is kind of a base shell that you can change as necessary. So let's say, for example, that your opponent decides, well, I'm kind of, you know, I, you know, maybe they, maybe they know um, how to deal with match. And so they're going to put the running back on in route and motion them across. If they have a tendency to do that, that's where I really like to audible to the Mike Blitz zero, do the exact same adjustments minus the slot receiver. And now we're basically playing um, what, you know, a better version of this, right? And this man coverage against Bunch Strong, Bunch Strong, um, you know, is not the best. There's some man beating principles, but it's not exactly the best. You have the, and you can still take this. Um, what's really cool about this coverage, another real quick tip. Once you're in match, let's say you're in an adjust, you're in a very adjusted match coverage. Okay. So let's say you're in what we just talked about. So you set this up and then they, they do that thing with the running back. 
where they you know they just motion them across because they're trying to basically break quote unquote your match coverage. Very simple. Just man up the outside slot, man up the outside receiver real quick, as you can see right there. Now these two quarter zones will play really really well. If you want to, you can man up that that guy. But now that they're in bunch strong, you basically have to you, you do have to monitor the tight end. If he goes if he goes on like a corner route, yeah, you have to monitor him. But other than that, you're gonna see this plays really well. So that's why I personally really like the two one step aheads because it gives me the ability to do something like that in a scenario where they're gonna motion these players, which is what people will do. And when they start to notice that you're running a lot of match, they're going to quads. That's just my personal uh, understanding of that, okay? So that's that's kind of why this is what it is. So, um, And then the beauty of this is if you want to, to mix it up or if they have a tendency to go to quads or in situations like that, or maybe they go to bunch tight end, for example, and you want to play man-to-man, -man, audible to cover one robber. So now we audible to cover one robber. And the whole principle here is we want cover guys to guard cover guys, and we and we want linebackers to cover backs. That's basically the concept. If you get nothing out of this video, that is the biggest tip in my opinion. So how can we do that on, on, this, on this side over here? Well, we're going to three-wreck the defensive end. We're going to purple both linebackers. And then we're going to man up the outside guy with the with this player. So you take a look here. You see this is what we've got. If you want to man up the inside guy, um, you know you certainly can. But this allows us to keep our two purples and our three rec, and then it allows the again cover guys to guard cover guys. So we could take this. Uh, we could inside quarter on the right, and then we could um, you know man up that tight end right there. And as you can see, this creates. A different type of coverage so now you know if they block their tight end notice that these guys will come off of that and they'll help on other players which is what makes this so good as you can see okay so that's really the concept and when they start going to quads and stuff what I honestly do real simple is I check again because you're gonna this is kind of the base defense that you're you're designing right if if you if you want a real simple thing to do, if they are going to this, just go to cover one robber, and then you just simply man up the linebacker uh, on the tight end, and you drop a purple on the bunch side. If I mean that's a real simple adjustment, but it's certainly something that's very effective. And then if you really get a chance to adjust it a little bit, I would put a quarter on the bunch side. And the reason why is because what most people like to do out of this. Is you're gonna see something you're gonna see something that basically looks kind of mirrors this this basic principle and if you watch the deep post because I have a quarter zone there it's gonna play like a cover four he'll go with that post and he'll kind of top it just like that and you see that you get this nice little cone coverage over the top of the coverage all right guys I've talked enough um, if you want to learn more about the defense get in the patreon we talk about this against every formation in the game that is any good and we're going to continue to talk about this defense. I just keep coming back to it. I feel like it really is the best. You can do this out of other formations, but I think it's best done out of this package um, just because of how easy it is to adjust out of this formation. It really can be very helpful. So thanks for watching. Great quarters defense here, and it's an adjusted quarters in which is going to significantly help you defend some of the beaters, some of the bombs, some of the other stuff that people are going to do to try to break your defense if you use this, if you get in the Patreon, learn everything, you'll be feeling pretty good on defense. So thanks for watching. If you want to get the ebook, uh, join the Patreon. That gets you all the ebooks and all the updates to that. Um, there's a link in the description below where you can sign up for it for just $10 a month. Again, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you thought of the video. If you want more uh, longer, in depth videos like this, we'll really walk you through stuff. Uh, we certainly can provide that. If you want shorter videos, we can do that as well. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to join the Patreon, head on down to the description and click the link in the, in the description.